Good morning, Americans, and good morning, Patriots. <coughs> We're two days away. Two days away. Actually, not even two days away. Where is it? Nine o'clock here now. Uh, we're 39 hours away from Election Day. Not even. And of course, in a state like New Hampshire, where they start at midnight. So, to me, that's what I'm going by. 39 hours. Are we going to have a republic if we could keep it like Benjamin Franklin said? Or are we going to be ruled by tyrants? Let's pray for this country, everyone. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this great country that was founded on Jesus Christ. It started way back when the pilgrims came over here on the Mayflower, the Plymouth Rock, and made the Mayflower Complex, and this Lord was going to be dedicated to you. And from that point on, this land has been blessed. Although we've had trials and tribulations, you never forsake this land. You never forsake the United States, and this is why we're still standing today. During the Civil War, when the enemy wanted to take us out and in, he failed to do so, and America came back stronger than ever. When, when America freedom was, at, was threatened back in World War I, you stood by this nation. When World War II happened, when we got attacked, we weren't ready for war, but by the, your grace, we prevailed. We have survived communism, the Korean War, the Cold War. The Lord, now we're dealing with an enemy inside, as well as outside sources that want to destroy this country. I know you're not done with this country. We know the basic principle the enemy wants to rush the timeline. He doesn't want the harvest to happen. But your word says it will happen and only things will be done on your timeline. No one else's. And Lord, I ask that on Tuesday that your will be done so you get all the glory. Let it be so amazing that Trump would have to get in his knees and say, Lord, only you could have, only you could have done this. Let the people who want justice get down there and thank you for what you have done. And let the enemies be stunned to the point where they know only God could have done this. Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess, whether they like it or not. And Lord, use this country to continue to promote freedom, and more importantly, the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the world. We have our flaws. We know that. We have our flaws. But, one in Internet 825. If a nation will humble themselves and get on these and pray, he will heal our land. And Lord, that you restore this nation to its greatest wealth. Let the golden age of America part two begin. Let us have a monetary system backed by gold. Let us be out of debt. So we're not in we're not enslaved to our debtors, any country, any central bank. Let this nation put you first again in government, in school, in legislator, in the executive branch, in business and banking and family let the nations be restored again and let this LGBT garbage be crushed and defeated in Jesus name we pray amen now listen you may be watching my video for the first time you may have never heard a prayer like that before but if you want your country to get from out of this garbage we're in right now I'm hoping you prayed that prayer with me. I'm hoping you'll pray on your own. And I'm hoping you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Leave your comments down below. If you want prayer requests, if you need prayer, I will gladly pray for you. 
God bless you all. We'll talk to you later.